everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for stopping by i hope you will consider subscribing so today i have a delicious recipe for you we're going to be making bourbon bacon onion jam yum right now before we get started i want to say for those of you who are canners this recipe cannot I repeat, it cannot be safely canned. This is just to make a batch uh, to just put in your refrigerator and have on hand. It will keep very well for you for about a month in the fridge, but we cannot safely can this recipe. I know I was gonna get that question, so I thought I would just head it off at the pass. So we are gonna be making this delicious condiment. It is perfect for so many things you can make. A delicious um, appetizer with it. It's great on burgers, great to glaze meatballs, um, great for glazing a pork tenderloin or pork chops. So anyway, I will leave some other great ideas for you and ways to use it in the description box below. So make sure you check there for those. Uh, before we get started, just want to go over the ingredients that we need. You need some good quality bacon. I am going to be using thick sliced cracked black pepper bacon. I love this bacon. It is so good. And the cracked black pepper is just going to add to the seasoning of the jam for us. Um, we need some onions. You're going to need three and a half to four cups of onions. I have about four cups. I, that was about three, or I'm sorry, that was about four uh, medium sized sweet onions, but you can use whatever onions you like. You can even use shallots. You can mix and match however you want to do it. I just prefer sweet onions. So that's all that I used. And I have four cups of those. You need a few cloves of garlic. I used uh, four cloves that I have finely chopped. You're going to need some brown sugar, some maple syrup, some balsamic vinegar. If you don't have balsamic vinegar on hand, you can always use um, apple cider vinegar instead. I love balsamic. It adds a really nice extra depth of flavor here. And really the star of our show, besides the bacon, is going to be some delicious bourbon. And you can use whatever you like. I like Maker's Mark, but use whatever you prefer or whatever you have on hand. If you do not groove on the alcohol, it's fine. You can still make this recipe without the bourbon, but I just think it adds a delicious touch of something extra in the background. No worries about the alcohol. When you cook with alcohol, the alcohol itself cooks off and then you're just left with this delicious depth of flavor that you can't get any other way. So we are going to start, I'm gonna chop my bacon, we're gonna crisp it up. I'm gonna use my nice cast iron skillet. And then we are going to add our onions and we're going to slowly caramelize them and then add our other ingredients. So it's really easy to do one pan kind of thing. It just does take some time. You want to slowly caramelize your onions. Um, the one thing I failed to mention is I chopped my onions. Different recipes call for different things. Some people say to finely chop. I did a nice medium chop. There are other recipes where people have just thinly sliced them. So however you want to cut up your onions is entirely up to you. It will be fantastic any way you do it. So I'm gonna bring you in close and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, here we go. I cut my bacon into half inch to one inch pieces. How small or how large you want it will depend on what the what kind of texture you want your jam to be. Um, I find this size to be just about perfect for us, but you do what's appropriate for you. Another method that some people use is they just cook their bacon regularly till it's in regular slices until it's nice and crisp, and then they just break it up with their hands once it's completely cooked. I find this easier, but that's just me. You can do it the other way if you prefer. So we are just going to crisp up our bacon. You want to make sure it's fairly crispy. I'm going to cook it in a nice skillet until it's crisped up. And then we're going to remove the bacon from the pan, but we're going to retain about four tablespoons of our bacon fat. Okay, once your bacon is nice and crispy, you want to remove it to a um, plate lined with a paper towel. You want to make sure you have about four tablespoons of bacon grease left in your pan. If you don't have that much, you can make up the difference with some butter. And then you want to reduce your heat to about a medium low. And we're going to add our onions.
Now we want our onions to caramelize. So it's really important that you decrease your heat. You don't want your heat too high or your onions will um, get done and they won't be caramelized. We want to caramelize them. So the key to that is having a lower heat. So you need a medium, about a medium low heat is perfect. It does take some patience. So you wanna spread your onions out in your pan and you're gonna to have to let them sit. If you keep moving them around the pan constantly, they won't be able to caramelize either. So if you've never caramelized onions before, it isn't hard, but it does, you wanna kind of perfect your technique, so to speak. You don't wanna be constantly removing them, moving them around the pan. Um, so let them cook for a little while and then gently stir them, let them sit, cook a little while longer, stir them again, and just kind of let them be. It should take about 30 minutes or so. So it is a process, it does take some time. So patience is a virtue here. Okay guys, we are back and you can tell my onions are beautifully caramelized nice and translucent really soft and they have that beautiful deep golden caramel color on them so now we are ready to add our chopped garlic i'm using four cloves you can use however many you want to your taste and we're just going to saute that for just a few seconds until the garlic becomes fragrant And I'm also turning my heat up to about a medium high. Because here in just a second, we are going to add our bourbon. All right, once you start to smell your garlic, you're going to add about a half a cup of bourbon. Give that a stir. And we're going to let that cook and bubble for about 30 seconds. Stirring constantly. Then we are going to add, I have a teaspoon of seasoned salt and I have a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm going to add that. Um, you can use regular salt. You could add pepper here. I use peppered bacon, so I'm skipping the pepper. You could add some smoked paprika if you want or any other seasonings you like. Some recipes call for thyme. I don't really want that flavor here, um, but you can add that. Then we are going to add a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm using dark brown sugar, but you could certainly use light brown sugar. We're also going to add a half a cup of pure maple syrup. And then we are also going to add about a quarter of a cup of dark balsamic vinegar. Okay, once your brown sugar dissolves and it starts to bubble nicely, you're gonna go ahead and add your bacon back to your skillet. And we're gonna reduce our heat once again to about a medium. And we're just gonna kinda of let it simmer and bubble until it's nice and thick. And then we are all done. Make sure you are stirring frequently and it'll take 10 to 15 minutes for it to get nice and thick. Okay guys, how easy was that? Really, it's not hard at all. It just takes patience. You really wanna give um, those onions time to caramelize it really adds a lot of depth of flavor but we got a lot going on here I want to show you how beautiful it is now just as an FYI it has cooled some but it's not at room temperature yet I really recommend serving this at room temperature it will thicken up for you even more you want to just slightly simmer it until it starts to thicken you'll feel some resistance with your spoon but it will continue to thicken up on standing so mine is still because it's still so warm it's still runnier than it will be when it is completely cooled but I wanted to show it to you couldn't wait look how pretty that is delicious bacon, those onions, the depth of flavor from the balsamic vinegar, and that amazing bourbon. Now, don't shy away. If you're not a drinker, please don't shy away from the bourbon. You can buy just tiny bottles of it, just enough for this recipe, because it adds so much flavor. I promise you, it is totally worth it. So, 
I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy hors d'oeuvre. I just took a cracker and I spread it with some Borzen garlic and fine herb cheese. You just wanna use a nice soft creamy cheese of some sort, or you could even use a hard cheese like um, a white cheddar would be really nice here. And then just put a, spread your cracker and then just put a little dollop on top and you have a quick, easy, and tasty appetizer. Let's taste it, see how we did. You guys, that is so good. So much flavor going on there. I highly recommend the peppered bacon. It just adds a little something extra. If you don't have peppered bacon or can't find it, I would recommend adding a nice amount of cracked black pepper to it when you're cooking it. That pepper in the background is fabulous. So tasty. Quick and easy appetizer going on here. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious ultimate grilled cheese sandwich with it. So yummy. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. It's savory. It's sweet. It's smoky. And it is fantastic. I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for coming along with me today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.